How often do you clean your PlayStation? Do you increase the cleaning cycles with the frequency of usage? Do you clean it once a week, once a month, once a year? Have you ever cleaned it? Hit me up in the comments below. Also, subscribe to the playlist or the whole channel to be notified when I upload more videos. Hi, I'm Philip, and I've owned my PlayStation for about 5 years, and 3 of those were of pretty heavy usage. I've dusted it off with an air can several times a year, but I have a feeling that inside the box it is completely stuffed with dust. Recently the fan started getting louder and I have a feeling that it is caused by the buildup of dust inside. Let's go through the process of opening up the PlayStation and cleaning it to the best of our ability. I will guide you through the process as I am discovering it myself. What do you think we will discover inside? First, we need to completely unplug the PlayStation and get ready to break some warranty seals. Warning: If your PlayStation is still under warranty, do not tamper with these seals, otherwise your warranty will be voided. Also, a year is not really enough time to seriously build up enough dirt inside, which cannot be managed by blowing compressed air in the side vents. So let's proceed. First, let's clean out the hard drive bay. It is not secured with any screws and you simply slide the cover off to expose the bay. I haven't opened this cover for at least 3 years when I upgraded the hard drive to 1TB. Remove the screw and unplug the hard drive by pulling it out. Use small bursts of air to clean the hard drive and the cage. Wipe down the dust settled on surfaces. I use disinfectant wipes to help with getting the stuck on dirt to come off. Reinstall the hard drive, the screw and the hard drive bay cover. Flip the PlayStation upside down and look on the back panel where all of the wire connections happen. Here we see several screws. Some might be already exposed while others have warranty seals on them. Peel off the seals to reveal three T8 secure screws along the bottom edge. T8 is a Torx screwdriver with a small indentation in the middle of the tip. It happens to be one of those rare sizes that you won't find in your average Torx screw set. I looked through all of mine and I couldn't find it. I had larger ones and smaller ones, but not number 8. My local Home Depot had it only as part of a $30 set, so I ordered the cheapest one I could find from Amazon with a next day delivery. The link is in the description below if you're interested. The next day the T8 screwdriver arrived. Let's move forward with the process. Take out just the three T8 screws and set them aside. Since I tend to lose screws during the project, I purchased a magnetic tray to help me stay organized. If you're interested, I'll put a few links of these tools that I use in this process in the description below. Start pulling the cover up. First you need to loosen the back ring where the three screws were connected. Then wiggle the rest of the cover loose. Since the case is open now, I might as well clean everything, the fan, the heat sink and the power supply. Now let's take the power supply out. Unplug the power supply cable by carefully pulling on it. Remove the T8 secure and Phillips head screws. Pull on the power supply and it easily comes out. Clean out the power supply tray using a rag, vacuum or compressed air. Moving on to the heat sink. The heat sink is these copper pipes, which are located in the air duct connecting the fan to the power supply. This is where all of your cooling of your PlayStation happens. The fan is bringing the air in from the outside and pushing it across the heat sink and also providing the air to the power supply, which also has to stay cool. Again, use a combination of compressed air, vacuum and brushes to clean it. For the fan, you can use a combination of methods, whatever you have handy. Q-tips, dry it first to break the dirt loose, then you can dip them in alcohol maybe for deeper and more detailed cleaning. If you have a brush, that also helps. Even an old toothbrush can do the trick. Those combined with compressed air or small vacuum will work fine for you. Make sure to wipe down the whole area. If you have a brush that can reach into different crevices, make sure to hit them up. Since you already have it all exposed, you might as well do it. After everything looks presentable, it's time to start putting it back together. First thing we do is place the power supply in its place. Plug in the connector and reinstall all of the screws. Then we snap the cover back on and install the three T8 secure screws to complete the process. After I plug the PlayStation in and powered it on, the fan is running so quietly that I can barely even hear it. I can't wait to see how it performs after a long gaming session. 
As you have seen, this process is incredibly easy. And if I would have known about how easy it was, I would have done it a lot more frequently. I surely wouldn't have waited for so many years to do it. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please hit a like. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos hitting the YouTube screens near you. If you know of better ways to clean the PlayStation, please post them in the comments.